so i am so excited today has been a i would say a turning point or rather better word is i'm at a crossroads i've always been at the crossroads and i attended by coincidence just got into a live radio show talk show by my dear friend geeta krishnan and she is an amazing author inspirational lady who is so calm kind hearted compassionate i must tell you there is a big list of words i would like to give but anyway i am falling short of those good words and she really brought me determined to continue with my thought which has been nagging me in my mind for a long time and to write my story and she runs a sh- talk show called gratitude radio so i'm making this podcast especially as a thankfulness my gratitude to her to rebuild my uh rebuild my intention and inspiration to write this book and i got the title as a flash in my mind excuse me i'm staying near the air force station and so uh, this flash of mine is god sent intuition i would think from the heavens that i uh, the title was so exciting itself that it triggers me off to uh, i've been just doing research and the word title is after words normally we have one word in english called afterwards but here the words is spelled as w o r d s now let me give you a little idea why i'm using this title after and words two separate words but after and words spelled as w o r d s because everything happens after the word has come out of you of you from your inner soul and that creates a series of consequences which we are really not attending to so first i was inspired by uh, uh corless a wonderful lady again on my facebook network and she said she is a author wonderful lady who inspires us with uh, life of purpose and passion how to live a life with purpose and passion. but everywhere the message is the same you inspire yourself and others by your story and everyone has a story so build it with gratitude and the spark will come automatically even if it's the first time you're doing it so afterwards is about uh, is a interlude or rather afterlude to a earlier thought which was say it better now say it better i was very excited about this idea that how you say it makes all the difference and you should be very gentle very kind hearted very compassionate and when you give your message with that attitude with that perception of forgiveness and say it with love energy and with gratitude then the work that those words do is really magical believe me i have experienced this time and again so i thought of writing the book say it better to inspire people to say the same things not in a rude way not in an irritated way not with anger but with kindness love and forgiveness and that will really achieve your purpose of changing that person to understand that how graceful you are you said the same thing which did not create a war of a war of and it in fact generated love feelings which is so important in relationships so say it better was the idea earlier but then this thing got sent as i say that afterwards so after you have let the arrow out of your bow of your soul it is after that the words that you have used and if you not said it with the right words you have created problems of energy bubbles around you and that will kill your relationship it will sabotage your uh, whole life in many ways everything is about emotion and emotion is energy in motion so afterwards is supposed to mean that be careful about how you use the words and so otherwise be prepared to face the consequences not one but the sequence and our whole life if you ask yourself everyone's whole life is about afterwards so thank you very much for listening to me and i will continue with this series on my podcasting systems because i always say your voice is your brand and i'm little lazy to write and use old fashioned pen and paper so i was using videos but since i'm now very old i don't have a handsome face anymore i am a senior citizen but i will use my voice which is very childlike because i am childlike still thank you all bye bye